Hello everyone, it's that time again. I'm Keckers, and this is Disenchantment Season 4. Now before we get started, I want to remind you to bash that bell button and hit that subscribe button so you're notified for all our future videos. Let's get started. Your breakfast, Your Majesty. Beam, wake up! <laughs> Late night bunny party! <laughs> oh dear! So, here we are, it's another season of Disenchantment and another cliffhanger to resolve. And I gotta ask, can we stop with these cliffhanger finales? Last season ended up with Lucy dying, Zala getting stopped to an insane asylum, and it's four episodes until we get the entire principal cast back together. It's four episodes until we pretty much undo all of the stuff from last season's finale. And it seems like we do that every season. This is a series that does its best when the whole cast is together. Which, once they do get the gang back together in episode 4, it really starts to pick up. Zog. Zog has always been, like, great on this show. He's one of the funniest, best characters, and he gets sidelined for so much of this season. Hell, like, last season, he was, like, barely cognizant for a lot of what was going on. But once they get past all this stuff, once we get our old Zoggy boy back, he is brilliant, he is funny, he is amazing, and of course, how could it be anything less? Now, a lot of the fun of the early seasons has kind of been crushed under the weight of the plot, though. And, like, I gotta say, I miss that. I miss the adventures that they would go on. Like, the fun little lighthearted stuff that we got in, like, the first two seasons. This season is more about answering all of the different plot points. And there's a lot of plot threads that are going on that they need to answer, but it's just too much right now. Um, you have the whole stuff with Dagmar's plan for Bean, you have what's going on with the Lost Elven Kingdom, and we've got what's going on with Elfo's backstory and his mother. And at least the stuff with Elfo's backstory is kind of, for me, the best stuff of the season. Out of all of it, like, Elfo's parentage, it's like it's the most interesting, it's kind of contrived, but that's kind of par for the course for this series. Um, but who it is, how it ties into previous conflicts, it's convoluted, but not overly complicated if you can follow my drift. Alright, I, I will say it puts more joy to the series, seeing him reunite with his mother, with his brother. Anything that brings some happiness to Elfo's life makes me happy, because these guys have been shadowing far too much in this show. Now, Bean's also more responsible this season, getting closer and closer to like the end of her arc, with her becoming the, the queen of Dreamland. But this is also putting her like just a little too responsible. Because, like I love my drunk Bean. She's just so much fun, hilarious. But her finding an actual path, not being as aimless, is good for her too. But yeah, she's not as fun right now. Um, we're getting more stuff with the whole elf backstory, as I said, and her realizing that it's not just a kingdom being stolen from the elves, there's some other stuff going on with the other different races of Dreamland, and it's setting up for like a major conflict probably for next season. Um, Dagmar's up to her old tricks, but she doesn't really factor into this season much, except for like the very start with the wedding with Satan, which was from last season, and her appearing in like the last episode of this season. This is once again more set up for what's going to happen next season, but at least it doesn't leave off on the same type of cliffhanger of like, oh no, someone's dead again. Now, I don't know if season 5 is going to be the last season, but since they're focusing on solving all these mysteries, and there's not many mysteries left, it kind of feels like 5 is going to be the last, or at least like, the penultimate season. Overall, I gotta say, I give this season a 7.5 out of 10. The jokes don't quite land as hard, there's way too much time spent fixing what was broken last season, but when the show stopped and just took itself like less seriously and have fun with these characters. I had fun with these characters. I had fun with this series. Well anyway, I'm Keckers. Um comment below and your thoughts for this season. Subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell, hit the like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
gotta stop focusing on revenge and anger and wrath. Instead, just focus on what matters the most, and that's murder! Oi, I'm not done with that. I'll return it, dude! What you smiling about? It's just gonna take longer. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video though. Press subscribe so you're notified when I upload again.